Hey everybody and welcome to this video. I'm Inxlaura123. This is going to be a spend the day with me vlog so I hope you enjoy watching. If you do please click like, comment, share and subscribe to my channel. That would be awesome. Also don't forget to smash the notification bell to all notifications then you can see when I'm doing live streams and also when I've uploaded new videos. Okay, so today is Tuesday. The time is nearly half past eight. Just had a lovely hot shower, feel nice and clean and refreshed. I'm in the middle of drying my hair um, and then I'm going to get ready and go into town. I'm very excited, but also really, really, really nervous because this morning I'm going to start doing some volunteering at a local charity shop in Southend. Um, it's something I've wanted to do for like a long, long time, but like I just couldn't because my work and stuff. But I got made redundant about, well, just over a month ago now and like I'm just bored like as much as I love just sitting around you know watching tv reading my book etc like I just I need something in my life to do as well like, I, in a weird way I actually miss working I miss having that routine and I thought something like volunteering would be really good not only for my confidence but to you know to help people and to work in a charity shop is something I've always really wanted to do um, I love charity shops in general ever since I've you know been a little girl I've always gone in them so yeah, it's kind of like giving back but also receiving as well and uh, you know I love the people in there they're really nice people really friendly staff so you know obviously there's a lot to learn and you know get used to and stuff like that and being around new people so I'm nervous but I'm also super excited as well so yeah mixed emotions really but I'll obviously let you know how I get on when I'm you know out but um yeah so it's gonna be a good thing for my cv as well because like at the moment every time i'm looking for jobs if i'm applying for retail jobs which is something i'd love to do um they're just yeah i'm not even getting any interviews or anything because literally all of my cv says you know like tele sales tele sales tele sales because tele sales is you know all i've done for like 20 odd years i've got you know can't help that so I'm like, okay, having a volunteer uh, custom services till trained at the top of my CV most recent, you know, will look good, I hope. And it also will help me kind of open doors into retail. Um, I don't know. I just, look, I'm going to go. I'm going to try my best and I hope to enjoy it. I'm always in a certain shop as well that I'm going to volunteer in. So I kind of know where everything is and I know the staff a bit. So, yeah. I'm really nervous <laughs> but anyway after that I'm gonna go to the library I've got a couple of books to take back um so I'll put them in my bag to take with also I want to go into the range because there's a few little bits and pieces that I want to get in there um so yeah just want to kind of get this morning done and sort of get that out of the way as such and because yeah at the moment I am feeling quite anxious and you know I think once I get in and I'm, I'm doing stuff I'll be fine but it's just that something new thing and and the thought of like learning the till i've never used a till before i need like a kid's toy till you know cash register so to actually use a, a proper till is going to be very nerve-wracking um apparently they're going to train me at the back so i won't be like out the front of the shop with people's money um, i'm just going to be at the back on like a spare till so that's that's not as daunting i suppose um <laughs> But yeah, I don't know. Ooh, wish me luck. Um, anyway, so I'm going to quickly hurry up and get ready. I'm going to wear some black leggings. I've got a nice black top to wear um, and my little boots. So um, I did ask if I needed to wear like, smart clothes. And they were like, no, just be casual. It's fine. So, but yeah, I think this is kind of smart, casual look. Um, so yeah, right. I'm going to stop rambling and get ready. Okay, so there has been a slight change of plan. I was just at the door, literally going to go out. My phone bleeped and I was like, oh, should I check it now? Or should I check the phone on the walk there? I was like, no, I'll check it now. Lucky I did check it now because it was the manager at the charity shop saying she's got stuck doing some admin work and that. Would I mind coming in a little bit later on today at 2 p.m.? Uh, which is fine. But I was like, oh, my God, how lucky that I actually checked on message because I'd have just walked all the way up there for nothing. But anyway. So yes, um, I'm not going yet until two o'clock, so I don't know what I'm going to do instead. I mean, it is a little bit messy down here, so I could do a little bit tidying up and just watch something on TV. Um, but yeah, so change of plan, but it's still happening, so that's fine. So it's at 2pm instead, so I'll probably leave here um, about 20 past one-ish, just so it gives me plenty of time to walk there without rushing and to be on time or well, early. So yeah. Hmm. All right, so let's just get on with some housework instead then for a bit. Put my nightdress back on because, you know, 
why not? I'm going to lounge around for a few hours. Um, and the main reason is I do not want to spill any food or drink on my nice top. Um, so I've been doing the housework, keeping myself busy. Kitchen looks a lot better now. Tidied around, cleaned up and stuff. And then I've sorted all the bottles and the cans uh, all ready for the recycling bag. So yeah, I've been busy, busy. Um, I'm just looking through here because I've got a big pile of books on the table. So let me show you. These are books mostly from the library. Um, and I've got a few that I purchased as well, like pre-orders that have come out. So let me show you some new books. Okay, so let me show you these books. First of all, Melinda Salisbury, Echo Star is Always Listening. This book give me kind of Big Brother vibes. Look, it says, always watching and listening. So I thought that sounded pretty cool. Then I've got this one here in the shallows. This is by Tanya Byrne. I've read, I think it was After Light or was After, oh, After Love. There we go. I have read that from her. And yeah, this looks really cool. It's like a romance and paranormal mystery, that kind of thing. So love the cover. Really beautiful. Um, then I've got The Sentence by Christina Doucher. This is like a trial kind of theme book. Uh, one decision you can't take back. And I absolutely adored Vox and Q, which I read Vox absolutely years ago and I loved it. So, and Q was really good. I haven't read um, Femilandia, but I've read the other two. But yeah, I saw that she had a new book. Library had it. I got it. Um, this is a graphic novel, comic kind of book. Um, Alison, Lizzie Stewart. And I just, I was drawn in by this really funky art cover. And it is about a girl. I think there's like a romance between her and this guy and they join like art school and stuff. But I was looking through it and the art, I mean, look at that. It just looks so cool. And I do love like, like graphic novels and that. Not all the time, but sometimes I'm just in the mood for a little graphic novel. And I love looking at art and stuff like that. So yeah, I thought that sounded pretty cool. This one here I got, uh, this is going to be for an ASMR video. It's um, a very old kind of retro health and beauty book. And I thought it'd be really cool. Uh, this was in like the library book south, like 20p or 50p or something. And yeah, you can just I'm like can be looking through it, tracing and whispering and all that. Um, but yeah, don't forget Minx Laura One Two Three ASMR is my ASMR channel here on YouTube. So the link's down below. But yeah, I thought that'd be cool just to look through and, and you know do a video with very retro makeup and stuff. Um, okay, then I have this one here, Where Sleeping Girls Lie. Um, the thing is, I saw this in Waterstones. I really wanted to buy it because I love the cover. I read the back and it just sounded just so creepy and like, woo, just really cool. I love these kind of scary dark academia books. But the only thing that's putting me off is the thickness. Like for a paperback, that is quite chunky. And the font isn't that great. So that's why I just got it from the library and didn't actually buy it out of my own cash. Because I thought, look, if it's too small to read, like uncomfortable, um... If I'm just not really into it, then I haven't wasted any money. But yeah, they, they had it in, so I got it. Um, I also picked up another Claire Douglas book. I've literally got so obsessed with Claire Douglas books recently. Oh my God, I love her books. This is one of her old ones called Do Not Disturb. Be careful who you let inside. She does thrillers, but she also does thrillers in the way that you get to know the characters and actually care about them. Whereas in some thrillers, you don't you just want to know what happens. But it's like very family orientated, dark secrets, that kind of thing. So, yeah, looking forward to reading another Claire Douglas book. Got another graphic novel. This is Hopeless Main, Personal Demons. I honestly, I was drawn to the cover of this. I think it's just so cool. I really love this cover. I think it is part of a series, but it came out a few years ago. So I'm hoping the library, if I do like this one, um, I'm hoping the library have got like the others as well. But yeah, it just sounded really creepy and cool and like monsters and stuff. And yeah, if I show you the art, it's just, you know, I'm into my spooky stuff, you know. Look at the art on this. It's just amazing. I really love it. So yeah, I picked that up. And as I say, if I do like this one, I'll see if the library have got the other two, I think. Um, then this one is one of my pre-orders that turned up. Um, Leave No Trace by Joe Callahan. Oh my God, this book, oh, I'm so excited to read because I love number one. Um, so basically there's two detectives, one's human, one's AI. And it's just, oh, it's fantastic. Really unusual way of doing a, a thriller. Like, cause, and the AI character like feels so real. Like I actually think he's real, but obviously he's not. But yeah, on this cover, um, you can actually see they've done like the picture of him there, how I kind of imagined him actually. Um, but yeah, what was the other one called? I can't remember now what it was called, number one. 
But, uh, anyway. but I read number one and loved it. And now they've bought out number two. So it's obviously turning into a bit of a series because it was popular. Um, this one I picked up uh, a couple of weeks ago from Sainsbury's. It was like 4 15 I was like, that is a bargain. Uh, Wayward by Amelia Hart. Um, I'm really annoyed with myself, though, because I spilt some water on it. And now it's got a bit of water damage, which is bloody annoying. Oh, well. Um, but, yeah, it says, men invented the word witch. We call ourselves wayward. I just, yeah, I love anything witchy. This book I also got recently. I've finished this one now, but I might as well show you while it's here. Claire Douglas is the wrong sister. Once again, Claire Douglas, huge fan. Love this book. Very, very, very good. Every family has secrets, some more deadly than others. I love the cover as well of, like, the house and the way it reflects on the water and stuff. But, yeah, so some of my pre-orders, as I say, I, you know... I'd already like pre-ordered last year before I lost my job and the money doesn't come out until the actual book comes out with Water Stones. And so, yeah, I'm like, oh no, why did I pre-order so many books? Now I've been made redundant, it's not good. There's nothing I can do about it. Or I suppose maybe I could cancel them, but you know, I pre-ordered them so long ago and they're books that I want. So throughout the year, like this coming year, there will be other books coming out that I'm just I'm just going to have to pay for. Like, you know, it is what it is. But anyway, right, there's another couple of books on the sofa I'll show you quick. Right, hold on. So yeah, this one's also a library book. Um, it's also a Netflix film, which I wanted to watch the film and then I thought, no, I, I want to read the book first and then watch it. So this by Evelyn Sky and it's called Damsel. Um, it's got, I can't remember her name, is it Billy something, I don't know, what's her name, what's your name, I can't remember, she was in Stranger Things, um, but yeah, I quite like her, I think she's cool, so i got that from the library, this one I picked up in Sainsbury's a few weeks ago, Listen for the Lie, um, Am I a Murderer, You Tell Me, really cool, it's about like a podcast and this girl who's a bit, it's a bit like a dark humour book apparently, so we'll see if it's scary or not, <laughs> and also my current read, Oh, I've just dropped my tarot cards. Ah! Okay, I'll pick them up in a second. Um, this is my current read, Murder Road by Simone St. James. Cover is so creepy. And I love it. But yeah, I'm really enjoying this book. I'll tell you more about it later when I do my actual reading session. But yeah, I'm, well, yeah, over halfway now. So really, really good. If you like your spooky, scary stories, like, this is good. There's a quote on the back here. As creepy as unsettling as a rain-faded reef and teddy bear found by the side of the road to mark a missing person. Murder Road lingers like a ghost long after it's finished. It is very creepy. I'll give you that. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'll tell you more about that later. But they are my books. Okay, so I'm just watching Married at First Sight Australia. And at the same time, I'm going to take off my nail polish. Because it is starting to chip. Oh my God, my fingers are so dry. Look at that dry skin. Oh my God. Up close, that does not look good. Um, oh, and here, and the thumb. Oh, I need to put some like moisturise around my fingers. Anyway, um, see, I'm going to paint my nails. Where is it? It's like mint green colour as well. So, yeah. Okay, so the time is nearly one o'clock and I'm just off to my volunteering job at the charity shop. So, uh, yeah, let's go. Wish me luck. Okay, so I'm nearly at the charity shop. I'm getting really nervous. I'm excited, but I'm really, really nervous. But... Yeah, I'm going to go in, do the best I can, and we'll see how it goes. I'll see you in a bit. Okay, so I'm happy. I'm smiling. I had a really good time at the charity shop. It was so good. The manager was so lovely to me. She showed me around and told me about this and that. And, yeah, I think it's going to be good. I think I'm going to really enjoy it. She was so lovely. The shop's lovely. So, you know, I go in the shop all the time, so I feel comfortable in there. But, yeah, next week I'm going to go back on Tuesday and do some till training, which... I'm a bit nervous for because I've never like worked with a teal but it's all good I'm gonna be able to do it it's fine just got to be more positive with myself but yeah so all went well sorry my hair mm, it's going in my mouth there we go I've just been in there the range because um, I wanted to get a couple of bits which I will show you when I get in um, but yeah I'm just gonna walk home now and uh, I feel really proud of myself actually because you know, I was yeah. nervous, I was anxious, but I'd done it, I enjoyed it, and yeah, it's all good. I'm going to go back next Tuesday. Okie dokie, so let's get me home. I'm really hungry, so I'm going to have something to eat when I get in, and uh, yeah. Well, that's the new sign that people have been moaning about. Apparently it's really, really bright. And when they're in the flats, they like see it and it's really bright. Oh, it is big. 
I mean, it's all right now, but yeah, I can imagine it late at night when it's really shining bright. It would get on your nerves, I suppose, wouldn't it? But um, yeah, anyway, they've put it up there. All right, let's get home. I go a different route home. I always go the same way, so let's kind of mix it up a bit and go this way. The old pay phones. South of Victoria Station there. Let's have a look at this. The history of South End. There you go. It's pretty well church. Kurzel Gardens. Don't forget your rock. <laughs> Building the Palace Theatre. There's the Royal Terrace. Go over here. Oh, there's the cliff lift over there. I've never been on a cliff lift. It just terrifies me. It looks cool. And it's amazing it's been going all them years. But yeah, I don't like heights. So yeah, no, not for me. <laughs> There's the pier, old school, Victorian pier. There's pretty well Priory, Palace Hotel. Yeah, I like that, it's cool. Oh, I've never seen a blue bus, Essex Airlink. Ah, oh, that goes to all the airports and stuff. Stansted, Chelmsford, Southend Airport, Southend. Oh, I love that blue. It's really nice. That building terrifies me, it's so tall. Ugh. It's really weird because I've always had a phobia of heights, right? But it's not just about being up high. I can't even look at high buildings without feeling a bit. Ooh. This is cute over here. This looks really pretty in the summer. Not that I can go near it because my hay fever, but it looks nice <laughs> from afar. I like the little logs and stuff. It's just the shape of it, it's just cool. It's called the Wellbeing Garden. South End Museum's Wellbeing Garden. A state of being healthy, comfortable and happy. Unless you've got hay fever and then not so great. <laughs> but no, it looks really cool. There's the uh, museum, planetarium. I haven't been to the museum in ages. And it is free to go. So, uh... <laughs> That was my friend Hannah behind let's give her a wave um yeah me and nathan should go museum at some point we haven't been there for ages there it is it's all closed at the moment obviously but yeah this the thing used to be was it an old library back in the day or something maybe and talking about the old library this used to be south end library it's now the um beecroft art gallery but it used to be the library where I used to go and uh, oh, I used to love coming here <laughs> I mean the new library is a lot, lot bigger and there's more books and stuff, there's more space but there was something about this library that I always liked better just had that real, I don't know, library vibe and it was always very quiet and stuff but it is cool that it's now an art gallery another thing me and Nathan haven't done for a while, been here so things that we can do, you know, now we've been made redundant and you know it give us something to do and it's free obviously the art gallery museum to look around so we could do that and if it's starting to rain i'm sure i just felt a little bit of rain oh yeah the sky does look quite gray doesn't it it's now half past six and nathan is watching pokemon sun and moon sun and moon who's that one that's Rotom Dex. Rotom Dex. So it's a Rotom, the Pokemon, mm. who's living inside a Pokedex because Rotom can take over electrical machines. And there you go. You know your stuff. Yeah. Um, so he's watching that and I am reading. Hold on. So this is my book, Simone St. James, Murder Road. I don't know what it is. It, it was supposed to be really scary. Not that scary? Well, it's a bit creepy, but it's not as good as our other books. I hate to say that because I love... Her books. Her books. But I mean, Sundial Motel was one of my favourite books of all time. Good so far. Nah, I don't really like either the characters, yeah. and it's just getting a bit, it's a bit dull. I'll be pleased to finish it, I think. Like, I'm enjoying it. I can't stop reading it, so that's a good sign. But, but it's you just can't not. Stop reading it, but you want it to be over. Unless it's going to be very much like, what's it called? What's that film series? Paranormal Activity. And everything happens, Paranormal boom, Activity at the end. The end it everything. might be something like that. So, yeah, it's all right. A road trip from hell. One minute you're going on road trips going, you know, have your honeymoon. Next and minute. the next, she's waiting for you. Do 
<laughs> so yeah, I'm having a little read. Nathan's gonna watch Pokemon, and then I'm gonna go and have a nice hot a bath. Hot bath. Which we've both got into recently since we've got ill with our flus and that. We've both got into having like nice hot baths nice again, which is just lovely. Having a nice little soak. Just that. Ah. And then. You're not going to believe this. I'm going to be cooking Nathan dinner. So this will be the last time you hear from me. Oh, stop it. <laughs> I'm going to be cooking him dinner, which I will yeah. be showing you. Of course you will. In my vlog. Yeah. And I'm very proud to say that I'm cooking you dinner. Yeah. It's not often there. Because it doesn't happen. You never want me to cook for you. No. I think you think I'm going to poison you. Yeah, inadvertently. But, <laughs> but yeah, I'll be cooking Nathan yeah. dinner. Yeah. So, um, yeah, a little read, nice hot bath, and then I shall be chef. Um, a bit Mario Kart tonight. Yeah, if you want a bit more. I'm nervous, up for it. I'm up for it. Then let's do it. Let's do it. <laughs> right, back to the book. Okay, so I'm going to do Nathan's dinner. This is so rare. It is very rare. You never let me make your dinner. I no. always say, you, can I do your dinner? Yeah, there's a reason for that. What? Normally, I'm worried <laughs> you're going to poison me. Um, but you are an expert egg cooker. I am good at cooking eggs. I'm not very good at cooking my chills, to be fair. That's why he doesn't trust me. But I'm going to be doing him. Um, you having scrambled? Yes. Scrambled eggs, and you're going to be doing this though. So I'm only half cooking your dinner. Yeah. So he's got these honey roast hot what? Honey roast two hot smoked salmon fillets. Ugh. Ready to eat. Oh my! You actually think that looks appealing? Yep. Ooh. So I'm not going to be cooking that because I'm vegetarian. You don't I'm have not... to cook it. It's ready to eat. What? You don't have to warm me up. No, look. It's ready to eat. Oh, yeah, so it's cold. You have it cold. Hmm. It looks very thick. Well, of course, it's a fillet. It's yeah, but when mum. Sliced... Yeah, mummy's good at smoked salmon. It was like really yeah, thin. Slices of it. Yeah. That's not a slice, that's a fillet. It's oh, thick, isn't it? How are you going to chew thick. that? Or did you cut With my it? It's teeth. <laughs> um, and eggs. So I'm going to get cooking. I'll do the eggs and then you can just put the yeah. thing on it. Ooh. Okay, right. So I need a frying pan. So we've got a bowl, we've got a frying pan. I've just had my bath, by the way. Look at my hair. It's very good hair. Don't look pretty. Always. <laughs> just say that because I'm cook. Right. So, let's get these eggs out. Is it raining? Yeah, it is. Do you want two eggs? Two eggs, please. Oh, right, damn that! You're not having. No, I'm just having scrambled. I think there's a tiny bit of shell. Sorry, I've got you're OCD. Supposed an, you're supposed to be an expert. I'm an expert. <laughs> no, but you can't help getting tiny bits of shell. That's it, go ahead. Go ahead. Right, okay. right, I'm gonna put a bit of milk in. A little bit more. I'll get the lid on. Okay. Mix, mix, mix. We it. need to get a whisk. We do need a whisk, really. I know this does the same with a fork, but... There's a, there's a broken fork as well, look at it. Oh, yeah. Why is it... Why is it like that? <laughs> yeah. You can still mix it like this. Yeah. But a whisk gets, like, you know, yeah. they've got the we bits in it. Yeah. Maybe tomorrow I'll get one in Panland. Yeah. There was something we needed a whisk. Oh, the Angel of the Light. Angel, yeah. So, so I'll get a it. yeah, I'll get a whisk tomorrow. Remind me. Yeah. Okay. Right, just warming up the what is this called again, Bob? Batelli or Batoli. something? Batoli. Batelli, Batoli. I think I might have put a bit too much in. Yeah. Do you want that chucked away that bit? Yeah. <laughs> Well, this is why I don't cook. At least we know that the pan's nice and moist. Lubricated. Lubricated, yeah. <laughs> mixy, 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 mixy. There you go. Look at that. What do you reckon? Nice. That looks good. You got some salmon and you got some eggs. Bon appetit. Egg. Oh, I'm just at the back door. Listen to that sound. The rain. Oh. I love the sound of rain, it's so relaxing. I think I might just stand here all night, bub. Okay. Just listening to the rain. <sighs> Look who's on the screen. It's only you. It is me. I feel like a superstar. <laughs>
<laughs> when I filmed that video, I've literally just got about half an hour before. Yeah. My hair looked an absolute mess. And if you can see behind, it looks like there's a body under there. Yeah. It's not. It's, it's, not, it's just a... Because it was a bit of a mess of all the books. You just put a blanket I there. just stuck a blanket behind me. But it, when I edited it, I thought, oh, looks like someone's under yeah, there. It still it's quite creepy, like isn't it? You expect something to just go, whoo. <laughs> but um, this is ASMR, your local Avon lady visits you. Do you want to watch this video? No, I'm all right. All right, then, sure. Watching <laughs> well, Lisa, look, I've got people in the chat room, which yeah. is good. Some familiar faces. We've got Queen Kings. We've got Cerise. That's cool. But um, anyway, yeah, so I'm doing a video premiere. And uh, we are also at the same time watching Michael Portillo's train show, which I can't remember the Great British. Great British Railway Journeys. Great British Railway it really posh. Great British Railway Journeys. <laughs> <laughs> railway. <laughs> so, yeah, we've got him on. Hold on. There he is. Here's the man. Looks quite smart. He's not wearing his old coloured yeah. um, blazers Normally today. He's got an orange blazer and not like green trousers. Yeah, he's just wearing blue and a white shirt. Um, so, yeah, got Premier, got Mr. Portillo. Um, and that is that. Is that. It's got past 10. Um, we'll do some Mario in a bit. Yes, we're going to do some Mario in a bit. Who's going to win? You. Thank you. Yeah, right. <laughs> Mario is so much fun. Even though you won, as ever. Mm. Anyway. <laughs> he always wins. Literally, no matter what game we play. Mm. Anyway, uh, thank you so much for watching the video. I hope you've enjoyed spending the day with me. Please click like, comment, share and subscribe to my channel. That would be awesome. Uh, don't forget to smash the notification bell to all notifications. Then you can see when I've uploaded new videos and when I'm doing live streams. Um... Yeah, all the uh, social media links down below if you want to come and follow me on uh, X, on Instagram, and um, so on. X, Instagram. Oh, TikTok as well. So, anyway, um, I'm very tired. I'm half asleep, so I'm going to go now. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.